Well, the Sony WH-1000 XM4s or the Sony XM4s or the Mach 4s for short is Sony's latest noise cancelling headphones in the XM series. Now if you are an owner of the uh, XM3s you might notice that this looks exactly the same as the XM3. So what exactly is the difference and why is it better? Why should you get it? Well let's start with the visuals. So first the ear cups apparently 10% more thicker and it's way more softer which means it's way more comfortable to wear for longer hours and it provides a perfect seal for the passive noise cancelling. Also the padding on the headband apparently is also a little bit more thicker to provide a little bit more comfort when you're putting it on your head. Overall these headphones are very well built in my opinion and they're very light and comfortable to wear and I think that Sony did a great job at it. I can see why they didn't change much because well if it ain't broke why fix it? Another new thing that you can find on the XM4 is the proximity sensor that is in the left ear cup. So what these proximity sensors do is basically well it allows you to pause your music whenever you remove your headphones. So yeah previously this was not available in the XM3. So you're able to take them off and put them aside without worrying of draining the battery on this. Also, thanks to the proximity sensor, if you leave it aside for a certain amount of time, it will automatically power down, which also helps save your battery life, which is just great. Now, speaking of the battery life, how are these guys better compared to the XM4s? Well, According to Sony, these things last about 30 hours full charge with noise cancelling on. I mean, that is just amazing. <laughs> and if your battery is depleted, a 10 minute charge will give you 5 hours of usage, which is just perfect. Now, the next feature is Bluetooth 5.0, which means the XM4s have the capabilities of connecting to two different devices at the same time trust me this is a really really cool feature so it basically has the ability to connect to two different devices at the same time uh, seamlessly switching between them based on which device you're using this is a really useful feature i've used it it works pretty well especially when you're connected to a laptop and a phone at the same time let's say you're watching a video on your laptop or editing and you get a phone call the headphones will detect that and seamlessly switch uh, the audio to your phone and once you're done with your phone call and you continue watching your video on your laptop it will seamlessly switch back uh, that's cool now the main part of the xm4s noise cancelling well, are they amazing well yeah well my previous experience to noise cancelling uh, is the airpods pro which are amazing earbuds by the way after trying the xm4s I gotta admit, my mind was blown. They are indeed truly the best noise cancelling headphones that you can get in the market. Uh, they are mainly amazing because they have the perfect balance between noise cancelling and sound quality. One will not ruin the other, so they are basically perfectly balanced as all things should be. So you can control the noise cancelling uh, intensity through the Sony app so it allows you to swipe through uh, the multiple levels allowing certain sound to pass through or you can just turn it off. Alright, we're talking about headphones here, so how's the sound quality? Well, they're, they're pretty amazing, the low ends especially. You've never truly experienced bass until you've tried the XM4s, just saying. They really help immerse you into whatever you're listening to and that plus the noise cancelling really feels like you're in your own personal bubble and I really like that. And to enhance that experience you get to customize the EQ using the Sony companion app that comes with your phone. Now speaking of the Sony app, it is a free app that you can get through the iOS or the Android Play Store. This app basically acts as a setting hub with so many cool features and customizations that you can do. For example, adaptive sound control. The app basically detects your actions and locations and adjusts the ambient sound accordingly. 
It's basically four different modes, which are staying, walking, running, and transport. The app is basically able to detect if you're in a coffee shop or if you're walking down the street or if you're sitting at home or if you're actually on a bus or a car or even a plane. And based on that, it'll adjust the ambient sounds accordingly and the noise cancelling, uh, giving you a more optimum experience and also looking out for your safety. For example, if you're walking down the street, uh, the app is able to sense that you're walking so the app senses it and it sets the ambient sounds accordingly so now it allows only certain amount of sound to enter the headphones for example sounds from cars and if you're running or jogging it will amplify the sounds even more allowing you to be more aware of the environment so it's really good for safety if you're sitting at a coffee shop or if you're on a plane uh, the app will notice that and will set noise cancellation to the max allowing you to enjoy your music or whatever you're consuming so you're able to set a particular ambient sound level to your liking uh, for each of the four modes these headphones also have the feature of location learning so it basically changes the ambient sound and the noise cancelling based on which location that you're at another way that you can control the uh, ambient sound is through the custom button that is on the left ear cup right next to the on and off switch so through the sony app you can set the custom button to also work for google assistant or alexa if you want so the app also has settings to optimize noise cancelling and also the air pressure which is pretty useful especially if you're gonna use it while you're flying in the plane so you can turn on the optimizing feature and it will set the best setting for you for the most optimum listening experience while you're on the plane now next up is the 360 audio. It is a pretty cool feature that immerses you even more while using the XM4. So basically the music will be mapped in a 360 sphere around you rather than a conventional stereo sound that shoots out from two sides. You will be able to isolate sounds or particular instruments and tell exactly where it's coming from. And to set up the 360 audio, the app actually requires you to take a picture of both your ears so it scans your ears and somehow optimizes the best sounding 360 experience for you I mean it, this is just overkill at this point not gonna lie they're truly amazing but well sadly this feature is only available to certain platforms so currently 360 audio is uh, available in platforms like Deezer's Amazon Music HD uh, Tidal and nugs.net never heard of it but yeah so if you happen to be using all those optimized apps you can enjoy 360 audio so next up are the microphones the xm4s contain way more microphones compared to the xm3s but there are five on each ear cup these mics not only uh, enhance noise cancelling but they also cancel out the background noise while you're using the mic to talk to someone on the phone or something. I mean, they're not great A quality mics, but as long as you can hear my voice with minimum background noise, that is perfect. This is my voice with the mics on the headphones. And this is my voice with the camera's microphone. So yeah. As I mentioned before, the XM4s only have two buttons on the left ear cup so how do you control the volume and change to the next track and all that well on the right ear cup it is actually a touchpad so swiping up and down controls the volume front and back controls the uh, skipping the track or going back tapping on the center uh, allows you to play and pause and then if you drag and hold you fast forward through the track backwards goes the other way around and then there's covering the ear cup which allows pass through to occur so when you cover the right ear cup completely it turns off noise cancelling and amplifies all your ambient sound allowing you to listen to the environment or listen to someone while they're trying to talk to you it's super quick and seamless there's no delay at all so the second you put your hand over the right ear cup it immediately lowers the volume turns off noise cancelling and amplifies sound so that you can listen to whoever you're talking to so pass through is basically like a transparency mode on the airpods pro and if i'm going to be honest with you 
I prefer transparency mode. Uh, the AirPods just feel way more natural. It almost feels like you're not even wearing any headphones, mainly because of the size, but the microphones on this are pretty decent. For the XM4s, you can tell that the mic is doing a lot of the work because there's a little bit of sound distortion. So uh, yeah, there's that. I mean, it's not bad, it's just the AirPods Pro does it better, in my opinion. All right, speak to chat. There is an option in the Sony app that you can turn on if you like. It's basically an alternative to the covering the ear cup or removing your earphones to listen to someone or talk to someone. What it does is basically it listens for your voice. So for example, you're listening to music and someone comes up to you to talk, the headphones will recognize your voice. For example, if you say like, excuse me, it'll automatically pause the music, turn off noise cancelling and amplify the ambient sound allowing you to listen and talk. So through the Sony app, you can kind of set uh, how long you want the whatever you're consuming to pause for. So you can set it to 15, 30, or even 60 seconds. I mean, it works pretty well, but it's just, it's, I don't really use it that much. I prefer covering the ears or just removing the headphones if I want to talk to someone. So once you're done listening, you can just keep your headphones into uh, this hard case shell that Sony provides. It's a hard case shell. It protects your headphones really well. It has a pouch on the back if you want to put anything else. So you unzip this. So the headphones is kept this way, folded. So apart from just housing the headphones, it comes with this 3.5 millimeter aux cable. So if you want to use it, you can. It also comes with a USB type C to type A cable. Yes, these things charge with type C. Love that. But the cable that they provided is, well, it's very short. <laughs> but yeah, if you want it, it's there. And this is something interesting that I'm kind of glad that they've added. They've added an airplane adapter so that you can use it while you're on the plane. Just wish I can use it sometime soon, maybe. Hmm. Overall, the case is, is pretty good. I love the little accented rose gold on the zipper hard case you can you can pack this easily I mean it does the job unlike a certain headphones that come with a certain case overall I think these are amazing headphones and if you're an audiophile and you have the money for it I do recommend you getting one I mean after my one week of using this these are truly in my opinion my ideal headphones the design is pretty decent the matte black i love i just love matte black the amount of features that come with it the sound quality the noise cancelling i mean it truly makes this like a solid 10 out of 10 headphones i can't i legit can't really find anything to complain about well maybe my only complaint was when i first wore the headphones and i turned on the noise cancelling it was a bit claustrophobic so it was a bit uncomfortable for the first few days but I got used to it so there's that if you want to consider that a complaint but overall they're amazing headphones so I got this on a sale like it, it these things cost around 1599 uh, ringgit Malaysia and I got this for 999 through Shopee so it's kind of a steal <laughs> since it's September and Black Friday is coming along or even Christmas there will be sales so if you want to get them then you can do it. So thank you Sony for making these amazing headphones. If you want to check these headphones out, I will leave a link to them in the description below. I really hope that sometime in the future I get to collaborate with Sony, maybe. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.